Hi guys, it's Debbie, and I'm going to do acrylic poured painting. Um, how do I, I'm going to pour all my paints into a cup and pour them out. On these little paintings, it seems to work pretty fine. And I have all my colors mixed up right now. I just mixed up some, a little bit of black uh, Create Attack. I, I don't know, I love the way on some of the paintings it has formed around, little ring around some of the cells. It's like they really can, they stick out magically. It's awesome. I can't say it does it every time because it doesn't. I'm not too sure if maybe I put it in at the most perfect second. I don't know how it did it. I have no idea. Um, I just did a couple previous paintings. I have them over here on, on my drawing racks. Sorry about this. Um, drying. <laughs> so um, they'll probably be there drying for another day or so. And then, well, it takes them usually a couple days to really finish. So, um, anyways, I have a canvas, 8x10 canvas. I have done a few tests. I had a bad week of, or a few days. I have been using some old paints up, and I'm telling you, I have so much, I have much better success with this with the newer paints. I think it's just because they blend into the medium so well that that is the reason why I've had a lot of success with the majority of them and the older paints. I'm fighting with them sometimes. But sometimes you get a pretty cool effect. I have mentioned in many of the paintings a very thick milk of magnesia. Very important. So let me bring you down. Okay, I decided instead of using the new canvas, I'd use this one. This, this is one of the paintings that I did a few days ago that did not turn out, which I had several that did not turn out. Um, and I honestly feel that there is such a fine line between you got to learn the paint to use, but I mean, this there's a certain thickness that sits right in the middle there, and you get them too thin. When you get your paints too thin to do this, you can get a lot of little tiny cells. Um, but you don't have that definition of a strong, say if it's pink and blue sitting next to each other, they kind of blend together. And that is really important, important with making these paintings to make them look really nice. So. Anyways, let's get the pour cup going, and I think this time I'm going to start with some red. My dirty cup, it's got a lot of colors left over. It seems like the same colors are left in the bottom time and time again. Maybe we should start with a little white and see what happens this time. My white is very thick tonight. See how it doesn't even hardly dump down in there? But the red is perfect. I feel like all of my colors are very thick tonight, but we'll see how they turn out. Okay, let's use up this is some creative tax. Oh, let's not forget that black. Let me put some of that in right now so it starts to do its thing, whatever it's going to do. <laughs> um, all the paints have silicone in them except for these little cups. I totally forgot to add it. But because there's enough silicone in the others, it should have nothing to worry about. And this one, this one was made from one of the paints that are pretty old. So, okay, let's get some white going. I'm always afraid if I don't add very much white that I'll, I'll get uh, too dark of colors. <laughs> All right. Oops. 
this painting, this particular canvas, has been redone a couple of different times now. <laughs> mm, I love this side. And you can see the very shiny pink. I'm going to try to keep that. I'm going to quit. Let's see. How do we want to end that up? I think I'm going to stop right there on that particular thing. And I'm trying to see. You would think in the end that you'd be able to tell. I mean, sometimes you have no idea that that you've added a color to that corner. Sometimes I'll be looking at them and I'll think, You'd think it'd be so obvious, but sometimes it's not. You know what I'm going to do, though, on this one? I'm going to get this other little corner. That's a pretty big corner right there. I actually, this time, did not have a lot run off. Oops. So I'm going to try to get this corner with a little bit of this. I wanted to hit. All right, so now we got some nice cells in here, but I don't know. I feel it needs a little excitement yet. We'll see what we can do. Maybe if I hold it up like this. Personally, I would like to see um, a little more definition of some of the colors. I don't really want to, I'm afraid I could ruin it by adding something to it, but I might as well give it a shot. Hold it up kind of high this time. Maybe it'll come on a little. I'm afraid I'm going to ruin it too much. So we need that to thin out a little bit. Sometimes by tapping, you will really see our bubbles that have come in there, and you'll create a new cell. Parts of it, but part. Um, one of these that I'm gonna I'm afraid I'll mess with it too much, but I I just feel it needs me to do something, and I don't know what. I wish you guys could help me right now. The bad thing about this painting right now is when you get all this paint on your hands and your nose itches. <laughs> Seriously. And then I'll realize sometimes um, I'll do a couple of these in a row, a couple of these paintings in a row, and make a video on them. And then at the end of the night I'll notice that I had rubbed my face somewhere along the line and <laughs> I have color on my face. All right, so I'm not sure what I want to do with that yet. It's really sticking tight, isn't it? Sometimes when I pour these colors on, they will get little dots in the middle. I just love it when I ha that happens. 
<laughs> and my board's got some whites, little cell whites coming up. Um, okay, I think I will hit it with the heat gun. Pretty um, pearl pink. I can see little bits of it here and there. my paints were thinner when I would have hit it with the heat gun the little cells would have popped up much quicker this because they're thicker my paints are a little thicker but they're they're holding their form <laughs> um, I'd say for now let's pick this particular painting I'm gonna leave it alone for right now I just seen a cell pop up over there I'm going to leave it alone for right now, and then um, hopefully I'll like it when it gets done drying. <laughs> so, anyways, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. Thank you.